In this video, I'm going to summarize the main ideas from Open Up 7th Grade Unit 1 Lesson 3, Making Scaled Copies. So today's goals are, first, I know what operation to use on the side length of a figure to produce a scale copy. And second, I can actually draw a scaled copy of a figure using a given scale factor. So how do we draw a scaled copy of a figure anyway? The important thing to remember is when you draw scaled copies, you have to remember to multiply. You want to multiply all of the individual side lengths by the scale factor. Remember, like we learned in class today, adding and subtracting the same value to all links will not necessarily create scaled copies. In fact, it hardly ever does. So, I'm going to ask you to try this problem. The problem is to draw a scale copy of quadrilateral ABCD using a scale factor of 3. So when we draw our scale copy, the most important thing to remember is that we're going to multiply each of these original side lengths. So right now side length AD is a vertical segment that's exactly one unit long. So 1 times 3 is 3. We'll be drawing a vertical segment that's 3 units long. When we look at AB, it's 2 units long, so 2 times 3 is 6. We want to draw a horizontal segment that has a length of 6. The ones that are an angle that is not straight up and down or side to side are a little bit trickier, but DC, it goes down one every time it goes over one, so we can replicate that angle, but instead of going down one and over one, we'll go down 3 and over 3 to the right. And if you've done everything right, when you connect your last two points, it should create the same angle that it was in the original figure. And it does look like every time it goes up two, it goes over one. That happens again here, so I think we're good to go. All right, to wrap this up, how do you know how long to make each side in your scale of copy? Well, all you have to simply do is multiply by the scale factor. And how do you know how big to make each angle in your scale copy? Here, you will keep every single angle exactly the same.